The National Consultative Front, known as the Third Force Movement, is expected to form a mega party this week. A spokesperson for the group, Olawale Okunui, stated this. Okunui said the group would not be registering a party afresh, but would adopt an existing party, change its name and its logo. He added that the Independent National Electoral Commission would be informed of the convention of the new party. Some prominent Nigerians said to be in the group include Professor Pat Tomi, a former Deputy Governor of Central Bank of Nigeria, Professor Kingsley Mogalu, Pastor Itua Igodalo, former INEC Chairman, Professor Atahiru Jeiga, and former Minister of Education, Dr. Obi Ezekwesili. To join us uh, to discuss this conversation is Olawale Okuni. He's the Director General, Intervention movement nigeria intervention movement thank you so much for joining us thank you very much it's my pleasure to be with you great um i just want to go back to a few years ago if not last year where professor utomi was asked the question if the third force was going to become was going to metamorphose from a movement into a political party and he vehemently said no but fast forward to yesterday or two days ago the third force is telling us that they are going to be a political party. What should Nigerians believe here? Professor of Toby would not have told you that. Well, it's printed on the pages because of our the newspapers. Of July 2020, he would have told you that about National Consultative Front. Maybe another platform. There is another platform that is doing other things. Um, Rescue, Nigeria Project, etc. But the National Consultative Front, from the one said it will try to mobilize Nigeria, galvanize a movement that would try to ensure a proper constitutional democracy, and then try to provide a platform for Nigeria to engage the 2023 elections. Mm -hmm. so that they can also sponsor their own candidates and then they can rescue Nigeria. So that, that cannot be Professor Tomi speaking for National Consultative Front on that matter. The vision statement and mission statement of the National Consultative So maybe you were talking to him as to other initiatives mm -hmm. and then he could have said that. But on this matter, I am the national secretary. Okay, let me let's let, let, let's move let's move on to the people who make up this party uh, or this party that is about to emerge. We've seen the former education minister, uh, Dr. Obi is a Kasili, Professor Pato told me. Um, even the pastor of Trinity uh, Church, uh, Pastor Itwai Godalo. These are very interesting and very. Um, forward-thinking persons, people who have been very um, vocal in their criticism of, you know, the political space and, you know, talking about good governance. But then I, I go back to what happened in 2015, where we had the likes of Kingsley Mogalu and Dr. Obiaz Ekwesili and, 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 and um, some other people um, who were not necessarily in agreement as to m a merger but now we see these people in this political party. Shouldn't the party have, instead of forming a political party, distributed themselves into other political parties that are already strong enough, that have already been through the process, that have a structure of sorts, to change the system? Or, do you, or is it that you think that starting a political party a few months to the election is what Nigerians need and this is the savior of our political uh, environment? Some of us have been in the system politically. And we have experienced more than even those that you think are in APC and PDP. And what became of that was a function of our effort during the decade and even afterwards that became APC. And we have we have we have time with all of this. It's just that we need to also mobilize and encourage those who have been dispossessed to join forces with us to rescue Nigeria. Nigeria needs to be rescued from this cruel maladministration 
and my governor. And that is what those who find credible in the polity are being recruited to do. Therefore, uh, just watch out for a form mega force mm. that will rescue Nigeria. I'm wondering how you intend to... I mean, I, I respect the fact that you say you have... Many of you have been playing in the political space. But Nigerians have also gotten used to the major political parties, even though at the time, at this point, maybe Nigerians might be looking elsewhere. But I, I ask again, what is that strategy that you would use to get Nigerians on your side? It's not about having men and women of great repute. I mean... We have them spread across different political parties. But do you have members that have the thing that Nigerians are looking for that would bring about good governance come 2023? Our value yeah, that we need the constitutional architecture of the country. And we also need so make sure that we go to temple that we are the way we are going. Nigeria will suffer a lot of if not in poverty and collapse. Because nobody is in the And therefore, the rescue team will be rescued. It's here with those that you can see the attack weapon who have tried to help the country move forward from the date of the future. So we are still doing the same thing because those who took over in 1990 were essentially people who, who put up their to put us at the data and then pick up the resources of the country mm. into private force. Mm. And therefore, it is incumbent on those who are still family to come together in one country, okay. in one block, okay. and to adapt a formidable force in an electoral, okay. in a ballot of a game those who are political and robber. Okay. All right. Mr. Uh, uh, Okuni, uh, we want to thank you so much for being part of the conversation. Unfortunately, uh, the connection has been uh, very unfair, <laughs> but thank you so much. Olawale Okuni is the Director General of Nigeria Intervention Movement, and he's a member of the Third Force. All right. So you're, you're also National Secretary of the NT Front. Thank you so much for being here. All right. Well, thank you all for staying with us. We'll take a quick breaker and I'll give you my take right after it. Well, here's my take. Lately, we've been, you know, unsettled by the abysmal leadership currently offered by the political class. And we really are earnestly looking forward to a rescue mission at the polls come 2023. The anticipation keeps growing and no one is really left out, including politicians. We've seen some interesting permutations in the jostle for the next presidential candidate. And now we hear of a third force that's touted to be the savior of sorts. But beyond the primitive sentiments that we've had of ethnicity, religion and age, the reality that stares us in the face is that we require more committed leadership and citizens engagement than we've ever had as a country if we must turn this somewhat broken nation into a hopeful one. So the question is, are we ready to not just have these conversations, but walk the talk? Like I always say, it's our duty as Nigerians to be resolute, to be more deliberate in our choices, knowing that this will one way or the other determine our nation's future. Nigeria's future is in your hands. And that's my take. And to round up the show tonight, Nigerians tell us how they think the Third Force will be doing in this election. I am Mary Anna Cohn. Have a good evening. I didn't think any third party can conquer APC or PDP in this Nigeria. 
this century where you are. I didn't know maybe in the future, but now to you, like 10 years to this time, it can't. Yeah. Because APC and PDP, like, I didn't know what really happened, but people, like, our mentality people for APC and PDP, we believe that they are the only person that can do it. But let's just try to another party. Maybe we can see the difference in this country. The issue is that before a thought force takes up that job or takes up the takes out um, APC and PDP, uh, it would have been maybe for next uh, uh, coming election, but not for now because for me they are not prepared yet. You understand? So before you take it, what you would have built a structure. APC and PDP is is taking over because they've already established a structure all over the countries and even at the at least the local levels, the you know, grassroots structure is very important. I don't think so. You know, since they are the ruling party, and you know Nigeria now, before you can kick away a ruling party, it's always a very serious something. Except if they would bring a, how will I say it, a good candidate from other party, they can have chance. But mm, as it stands now, I don't think... It is possible if we can pray one and be united and know the plan and the vision of this third party, then we will fight and make it possible.